everybody, and welcome to the Grace Grella Show. I am Grace Grella, your intuitive medium healing host, trying to uh, get it all together for you out there in viewership land for tonight. And from what I'm seeing from everybody's posts, it's everybody needs a little love from above in their lives uh, with everything that's going on, not only in the world, but in the heavens. And I have the perfect guest tonight to put some pep in your step, give you some healing energy, to give you some direction in your lives, the beautiful, talented Kelly Farrow. Kelly, what, what? Thank you so you. much, Kelly, for being on the show. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so honored. Your show is amazing. I've watched it before, so I'm excited. Great. Well, I, I think it was spirit that brought us together because as fate would have it, I saw a post that uh, you had made on Facebook and that brought us together. So yes. um, I'm very blessed that that happened. And what I want everybody to know is how blessed they are that they're connecting with you tonight. So I what? wanted you to share with us about how you uh, first were aware of your gifts and uh, when you started reading for people. It's pretty interesting because I'm kind I want to call myself like a little bit of a baby medium. Um, I started about a year ago reading for people and I started developing a year before that. So about two years and it's been an amazing journey. Things are happening so incredibly fast. That I'm just trusting the process trusting. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the way to go because spirits always got your back, beautiful. You, I'm, I'm sure you're uh, experienced the, is experiencing that all the time. And yes. um, it just gets better and better. So no worries, girl. I, I mean, you know, yeah. onward and upward. And um, yeah. tonight, hopefully, we can bring some um, good information to we have a um, lovely audience in the TV studio this evening. Thanks to the, the near and dear Capricorn energy of Sue Ferrari. Wood, wood. I love you, yeah. Sue. And at the microphone, we have the beautiful Aquarian, Michelle. Michelle, um, do you have a question or anybody um, in spirit that you really wanted to connect with this evening that we could ask Kelly to tune into? Um, I, re I, w I have questions because my, m my daughter is um, having a hard summer, so I really wanted to kind of hopefully connect about what I can do to help her. Okay, how to help your daughter. Um, your daughter's first name and her birthday month and day? Catherine, July 22nd. Okay, so what, do you, what are you feeling about uh, Catherine, July 22nd there, Kelly? Let me tune in one second. Um, I'm feeling she's, um, her age is younger, but a young teenager. Does this make sense with you? She feels youthful to me. She feels younger, like 10 to 15. No, she's almost oh. 20. She's, she acts oh, 10 to 15. She acts youthful. Her energy feels youthful to me, so she felt like a young teenager. Um, and I do feel like there's a lot of, I'm feeling um, anxiety issues going in, on inside of her. Does this make sense with you? Mm hmm Yes. Okay. And it feels to be where it's creating a rebellious um, state that she's kind of vibrating in. Does this make sense with you? Yes. Okay. And I feel like there may be um, some substance like drinking alcohol. Does this make sense with you? No. I'm not feeling anything um, hard, like any drugs or anything like that, but I feel like she may drink alcohol once in a while partying with her friends. Yeah, I'm sure she does. I, okay. Um what I'm feeling um, as I'm tuning into her energy, but she doesn't feel rebellious to where she's like crazy and wild, but she just, she's just having a lot of anxiety and just kind of dealing with it in her own ways. And it's the summertime. So I feel like um, she's just having a lot of fun with her friends too, to kind of escape from that. Um, I do feel like she's going to be okay. She's going to recover from this quickly. I feel like it's um, something that's only going to last about a year till she gets um, her head on her shoulders and opportunities to kind of grow as a person. Um, do not worry about her, her at all. Okay. She's gonna be okay. And you are such a nurturing, beautiful soul. I feel this through your energy. 
and um, you're doing the right job. Everything that you're doing is the right job. Just watch with um, a little bit of the control factor. Try to pull back on the control because I feel that there is a very controlling aspect that's kind of um, making her more rebellious. So just try to relax and go, let her go with the flow and trust her decisions because she's a good girl. She's Everything that she's involved isn't anything serious. She just needs to relax. CBD oil will help calm her nerves. Mm -hmm. I know because I've used it before and it totally works. And um, try to see if she'd be willing to start meditating or yoga, but you're doing a great job. I just want to tell you that. Thank you, thank you. Oh, well, that's You're excellent so advice you got going on there, girlfriend. Very good, <laughs> Kelly. And um, also, I wanted to say to you, honey, please don't cross your, your arms. Your okay. heart chakra is safe here with us. We're not okay. going to, uh, <laughs> we're, we're going to build you up. We're going to lift you up. First thing that um, I wanted to add to um, the lovely uh, the Kelly's info that she brought through is that um, there's something coming up with a Danny or a Daniel. Okay, in connection with your daughter, and okay. um, it, uh, is this somebody currently in in her uh, friends circle of friends? She has a good friend, Dan Daniel. Okay, she does have a good friend named Dan. Yes. Thank you, Spirit. See, they just come through <laughs> and deliver. Yes. Special delivery, you know, from love from above for you, babe. <laughs> And Dan, the man, um, is a good soul, has good head on his shoulders, adores your daughter, okay? okay? And who wouldn't? She's as beautiful as her mother, I'm hearing, to say to you. Um, and um, he's going to be the shoulder to lean on. He's going to be the soft place to fall for her. He's going to make sure. He's kind of like, you know, uh, Archangel Michael in, in, the, in, the, in the flesh, okay? okay? So he's her protector. Okay. Okay. And, um, you know, gr girls her age, I mean, I agree with Kelly. There's always a little woohoo, tip a few, have a, have, you know, it's a rite of passage, you know. But I, I agree with Kelly that it's nothing to worry about. You've done your job as a mom. You've given her the love and the foundation and the, the, uh, the school of rules, you know. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> The mom, mom's Ten Commandments of, you know, what a young lady needs to do. And um, every. Everything that you've um, given to her, it's in there. Even if she, you know, is uh, a little cranky, she's just cranky. She's cranky. Uh, 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 recently, yeah, is what I'm feeling. What, honey? Dude, I feel um, there's a moodiness behind it, and it's just a lot of anxiety creates that type of um, feeling. So she might lash out when it's when the mom Michelle is doing absolutely amazing, such a good job at being a mother. Oh, I agree. It's, I agree, 100%. So yeah. I think we're both trying to impart to you, um, there's nothing wrong with you, babe. Y y a perfect job, A++++. Plus, plus, plus. Keep the faith, have more faith in yourself and what you've imparted to your daughter. And I agree with Kelly, every little thing gonna be all right, as Bob Marley <laughs> would say. So uh, well, don't worry. One more quick thing for you um, that I wanted to add. Um, you're being encouraged to go on a vacation. Okay. And I feel like it's summer warm, summer with palm trees. So if you're not already going, book a vacation somewhere that makes you feel amazing and just kind of relax. Okay. Yeah, any plans mm -hmm. to go to Florida, honey? Uh, not, no, not concretely, but I do have, um, I have like a cruise thing that's been kind of halfway developed. You're so being encouraged with, uh, to go. To go to the cruise. Yeah. Ah, yeah, okay. the angels yep. are doing the... Uh, the love boat for her, okay, <laughs> all right. Well, hopefully uh, this is something that will now start to manifest, and um, that's the way spirit works. It's, uh, you know, they whisper in your ear, and then all of a sudden it just arrives. So um, anything else that you wanted to uh, impart to her today, Kelly? Um, I feel like she just needs to have confidence in her mothering skills and know that she is such a beautiful person, such a beautiful soul, and just to try to relax. And that's all. Chill. It's the chill pill time. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, mommy's <laughs> margarita time. Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's about recognizing and having more faith in you as well. And if you cannot take um, your daughter's moodiness uh, uh, to heart and just kind of, um, you know, just, I'm hearing just keep, keep dousing her with love and confidence. I trust you. I raised you right. Okay. I, I, I'm not worried. 
Okay. You know, and, and give her those positive vibes and love and reinforcement. That's what she really needs right now. And plus, she's got Dan the man. She's got Dan, Dan the man watching over her, so okay. not to worry. Okay, honey? Okay. All great. right, God bless. Thank Thanks you. for uh, coming up to the microphone. Now, I know Thank we have you. somebody waiting on the phone, uh, Kelly. Alisa, uh, are you on the phone? I'm on the phone. Woohoo! Okay, uh, Lisa, you're a Sag, but you're calling about your daughter who's an Aries, correct? Yes. Okay, now I want you to uh, speak a little bit so that Kelly can hear your voice. Okay. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Oh, my gosh. Good. How are you? Good, good. Um, I was calling tonight for my daughter, who her birthday is 418, okay. and wanted to know when you see her getting engaged. Okay, so let me tune into this. Um, I actually feel like it's going to be sooner than people may think. Okay. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be with, um, I keep seeing four. So whatever this means for four months or four, oh, I'm not sure, four years or four months, but I feel like it's actually sooner than people think it is. So within a year I'm getting, does this make sense with you? She's been with this guy for a long time. Um, she's actually been with him for a year and a half and, you know, They've discussed it, but, you know, nothing's going on because, you know, he really needs to secure a job. Okay. Um, I feel like it's going to be sooner than people may think it's going to be. Um, are you getting anything, Grace? Uh, yeah, honey. I'm, I'm hearing that. Um, I say I thought they were together for two years. You're saying a year and a half. I, yeah. um, I also am hearing that there's something to do with... Uh, them getting engaged uh, first, and then waiting maybe a couple of years for the marriage, saving the money, uh, getting the you know the mean green in the bank, and doing you know doing it according to Hoyle. But uh, mm -hmm. to uh, you know make sure that she's got, <laughs> if you like it, then you better put a ring on it, as Beyonce <laughs> would sing. Right. Uh, make right. sure that uh, you know uh, he he lets everybody know it's uh, mine taken. Um, I think that could be um, within the four-month time frame. So I think that's where you're getting the four from there, Kelly. All right. And I also feel like he's going to get a job. Um, he's going to get a steady job soon, but I feel like he lacks motivation. Does this make sense with you? I mean, I wondered about that. I feel like there's a lack of motivation behind him, the energy that I'm feeling, but I feel like the opportunity will come around and he's going to have actually, he's going to have a really secure job. Okay, good, good. And I hope they don't I, wait years to actually get married because she's already 30. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Don't be, ru don't be rushing. Her biological <laughs> clock isn't ticking. She's a fine, healthy girl. And um, you just want her out of the house? She can get her own apartment, honey, if that's oh, no, the case. Oh, no, no, they're, they're actually living together already. Oh, there we go. All right, so now you just want it signed, sealed, and delivered. That's right. We, we want it, uh, you know, yeah. We okay. want that signed, that's sealed, 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 delivered. song that I love, signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. All right. That's what I want. <laughs> so, and that's what you're going to get, honey. So okay, I think it's, um, it's about, you know, when we're waiting for something, every moment feels like an eternity. You know, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? You know, and, um, you know, within a four month time frame, she gets the ring. Then it's whew, uh, the pressures uh, eased up a bit. And then um, now what's going on with him and uniforms? Did he ever uh, talk about wanting to get into law enforcement? Do you know? No. Hmm. Why am I seeing uniforms connected to him? I don't UPS know. wears un a uniform, too. OK. Um, but um, I see a uniform connected with a job opportunity, so let me just tell you that. Okay. All right. Um, good benefits, I, good, good job. So I agree with Kelly that there's a, a good steady job coming up. Right. Because I heard, I heard unexpected opportunities, and I actually wrote it down, so that completely makes sense. So that, um, Can I tell you also, what field he's in? Sure. What was um, he has a law degree. He, he's a lawyer. Hello, he's a lawyer. He's, uh, that's why I'm seeing the uniform in the field of law. And I guess, okay. All right, so it's all coming back to me now. So, um, all right, so we got the right genre here. We got the right um, uh, field, okay, law. But uh, maybe he's, uh, maybe as an attorney, you know, God, sometimes we make plans and God laughs, all right? Mm -hmm. 
and you know there could be this fabulous opportunity that's offered to him through uh, law enforcement where maybe he's an attorney for uh, the, the boys in blue or somehow mm -hmm. there's a reason I'm seeing a policeman's uniform okay it's so try not to just remember that that's okay. all I'm asking okay okay all right um, but and I'm um, also in he's July get a connected job. to the opportunity that's coming so I feel like it's coming soon something's coming very soon and I also feel a grandbaby that will come, but not necessarily soon, but I see a baby. <laughs> oh boy. Boy. <laughs> well, well ho hopefully it's signed, sealed, and delivered before a baby. Yeah. Well, the good news is, um, sweetheart, that nowadays, um, you know, that's something that is embraced either way. You know, um, there, there are uh, expectant mothers, uh, uh, going down the aisle uh, in, in, in dresses. So, I mean, I think if you could be a little bit more open-minded and it's all, it should be all about your daughter's happiness and the, mm -hmm. uh, the fulfillment of the relationship, and that is assured. Your mother's prayers are being answered, okay? Mm -hmm. I promise okay. you that. Okay. Um, and I don't think that the pregnancy, I think the pregnancy does, uh, she could be pregnant as she's getting married. That's what I think. Okay. Um, is she going to be that obvious and showing? No. Is she going to be <laughs> like a Barbara Streisand in that number from uh, Funny Girl when she's in the, the bridal gown and she puts the pillow on her, her dress? Uh, a great scene from the movie, by the way. Right. Um, no, I don't think so. So uh, just embrace everything that's coming into your daughter's life with joy because it will bring you joy as well. Okay, good. Okay. And um, thanks for calling. We appreciate okay, your call you. tonight. Thank you. Awesome okay. sauce. All right. Now, Kelly, we have another beautiful lady at the microphone. Can you give us your first name and your birthday month of the day, please? Sure. Sana, May 12th. Oh, beautiful Sana, who's a, a Taurus. What are you feeling for her, Kelly? Do you have any um, questions, or do you just want me to kind of feel out what I get, the messages that I get for you? Yeah, please. Okay. Okay. Um... Hold on one second. I feel that there needs to be balance, a little bit more balance in coordinating your time is what I'm getting for you. I feel like there's um, some overanalyzing that takes place and to just try to relax your mind. Does this make sense with you? Yeah. Okay. And also, um, I feel like you do try to be as positive as possible, but sometimes to yourself, um, there's negative self-talk and you're being encouraged to try to have more confidence in yourself because you are such a beautiful woman. You're such a beautiful soul. And to let any type of negative down talk to yourself and just know that in your heart and um, embrace who you are. Does this make sense with you? Yes. Okay. Um, I also feel like there's a woman with you in spirit. Um, do you have a woman um, that passed away somewhat prematurely? I want to say before her time. Um, and it feels to be like 50s, 60s. Does this make sense with you? Yeah, my mom. Okay. And, oh, I'm so sorry. I felt that that was your mom too. And I actually wrote mom down. Um, and also this woman comes to you with so much love, so much love. She's... Um, She's just sending you a bunch of hearts. And also she's showing me a necklace that she has of significance. And I feel like you have her necklace or jewelry of hers. Does this make sense with you? Yes. Okay. And she's validating that she knows that, that necklace and, and she would encourage you to wear it more often, she says. And also she makes me feel like that you do have some of her clothing. Does this make sense? Um, yeah. We're like, yeah, we're, we're supposed to go through her clothing. We just Perfect. haven't gotten ourselves to do it yet, but There's my sister and I were just talking about we have to get it done. There's a specific shirt that she has, and I feel like it's actually a brighter color, possibly bright pink solid, and I feel like she wants you to have that. So um, please um, remember I said that and um, take that for yourself as well. Um, also, she makes me feel like her passing was, um, she, it almost feels sick. D did she pass away from an illness? 
Um, not anything significant. Um, okay. No, Was it nothing. something that kind of affected this area on here? It did. She died of a massive cardiac arrest. Okay, because I'm feeling something in my chest area. Um, I'm so sorry, by the way. That's Thank really you. tough to lose your mom so early. And she, um, hold on. She just says you are so beautiful. She says that you look like her. Does this make sense? I do. I tell myself yeah. that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so precious. Um, she, one second. Do you have a male in spirit as well? Um, a grandfather figure? Her father, yes. Her, she's with her. She wants to validate that she is with her father, that she's with family, and she's holding hands with them. And um, hold on one second. Uh, she's she's talking about a dog <laughs> with her in heaven. <laughs> Does this make sense with you? Is there a dog that you had in the family that passed away? Because she's talking about a small animal, which I think to be a dog. <laughs> um, no, we didn't. But I'm I'm a big dog person so animal yeah okay because it's either a small or it's either a cat a large cat or a dog so from what i see because i see with my imagination so it's very subtle very quick it could be my fat cat but that cat's oh. alive <laughs> well this cat was really big let me tell you <laughs> she's fluffy That's cute. but she's still That's alive cute. does your mom have a faithful background a faithful background? Faithful, like, did she have, was she a part of a religion? Because I feel like she's got a strong faith. She, she's yeah. It, yeah, I mean, she wasn't overly religious, but she did believe <laughs> in God a thousand percent. Perfect, because she's validating that she's, um, she still has her faith and she's with God and she would like for you to explore your spiritual side as well. Um, and she's making me feel like you're gonna go through a spiritual awakening if you're not already. Does this make sense with you? Yes. Okay. And is there a nurse in the family? Who's the nurse or the caretaker? She's bringing me to somebody who's caring that feels like a nurse energy. I have a good friend who's a nurse. Um, oh. But no one, no one in the family. That's fine. Um, she's making me feel like that there was uh, a. Um, Eddie, let me interject. I um I think what you what uh, Kelly's picking up on. Did you or your sister act as a nurse and try to take care of her uh, before she passed? She had a caretaker um, in the house, in her house. Um, but my sister, yeah, she did kind of play that role. Okay, I think that's uh, what she's uh, <laughs> trying to get through uh, to Kelly here, is that she wanted to thank your sister for mm -hmm. uh, acting in that uh, nursing capacity uh, before she mm -hmm. left. I, I mm -hmm. definitely think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. And who's Remy? Who's Remy connected to your mother? Remy. Mm hmm Doesn't ring a bell. Or um, oh, the Sophie, uh, the, the poet uh, Rumi, R-U-M-I. And I smell incense. And um, is your uh, sister pretty spiritual? Um, I think so. I mean, not as much as me, no. Okay. No. Do you burn incense? Are, are Sometimes. Do you read his writings at all? No. Okay. She's, she's bringing this up and bringing this through, and she says what Kelly says is true. She said that uh, what she wants you to do is uh, uh, strengthen and connect so that she can connect with you and that you don't have to go through us. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Of writing, she actually showing me that you have something with her writing on it. It's a card or a letter. I've written her really nice cards when she was okay. alive. Okay, so I maybe translated that backwards, <laughs> but she's showing a significant letter that was written that's of significance. And also, do you have a bird connection? B bird? Mm hmm. Do you oh. connect with birds? Like, do you see a bird and think of your family members or, cause I'm seeing like a, well, I, a bird. I do bird. only because I have friends and relatives. I have a lot of friends who see a bird and say, there's my uncle or there's my yeah. aunt. So now when I see birds, actually, yeah, I, I think it's been embedded in me. So sometimes when I'm riding my bike on the pier, um, okay. and there's, there are birds everywhere. It's on the water. So, but yeah. oftentimes so I'll see a specific bird and say, oh, that's mom or that's grandpa. 
She wants to validate that she is coming to you in birds and to trust that. And that's her sign to you. Great. So I think um, we got to wrap this up here, Kelly. Uh, just uh, see how time flies when we're having fun for the first half of the show here. Um, but I think um, uh, Kelly is brilliantly uh, uh, conveying to you from your mom is that she wants you to raise your awareness levels because that's how she's trying to get your attention by sending you the, the birds. Not like uh, Alfred Hitchcock and Tippi Hedren, the birds where they're attacking you. No, it's like, you know, you're uh, on the pier and then all of a sudden, where did that bird come from? You know, um, a cardinal down by the water? That's, that's not a usual thing, okay? Um, a pelican? Yeah, okay. So it's like looking for, and then uh, prior to experiencing it, maybe thinking of your mother or smelling something uh, that reminds you of your mother's perfume or her scent. She wants you to be aware of that, sweetheart. And don't go away, stay there. Okay. Uh, Kelly, don't go away, stay there. Everybody right watching, this is what happens when we enter the twilight zone. Time just like <laughs> flies by and uh, we love it though. That's why we're here. We're here to be all about you, get you the information you need in your lives from your loved ones who've passed or maybe, you know, uh, calm your fears about uh, what's up in the f coming in the future. Uh, because why? It's all about love, from above with love. And uh, both Kelly and I are here to give that to you tonight. Stay tuned. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> and FYI, are we still live? Yeah.